Hey guys, Galusier here, and today, rather than doing a normal Minecraft adventures, while I continue to work on my project here of digging down this hole to get building supplies and to eventually build a deep farm, I wanted to actually share something with you guys, and that is the story of Passover. Today is actually Passover. It starts at sundown, like most Jewish holidays do, and myself being Jewish, this is an important holiday for me. And I'm always surprised to find out how many of my friends actually don't know what Passover is or what it's about or why it's celebrated. So I wanted a chance to kind of just put it out there and let everyone know what the story of Passover is. And we'll just look at this Minecraft footage while we go over it. So for the sake of those of you that may not know the story of Moses and so on and so forth, I'll get a little bit deeper into the history. And this goes way, way back to one of the original forefathers of the Hebrew people, and that is Joseph. Now, Joseph brings his family away from the promised land, which was being uh, wrought with famine and so on and so forth, and brought them to Egypt. Over the following centuries, the descendants of Joseph's family became so numerous that when a new king comes into power, he fears what might happen if the Hebrews decide to rise against the Egyptians. So he decides the best way to avoid this situation is to enslave them. So according to, tradi to tradition, these enslaved Hebrews are the ancestors of modern-day Jews. Fast forward a little bit, uh, he, the Pharaoh still continues to uh, fear the Israelites and decides to start killing off a lot of the children to reduce their numbers and sends his soldiers into the little uh, Hebrew areas to kill any newborn male babies. And one of the mothers of this new of a newborn baby puts their baby in a basket. It goes floating down the Nile and is found by one of Pharaoh's daughters who decides to raise this child as her own. That child, of course, is Moses. And eventually, due to a whole bunch of different circumstances, Moses finds out that he is Hebrew, and he's more or less exiled, and he leaves Egypt for 40 years and is living on Mount Sinai when God talks to him, tells him that he has to go free his people and to return to Egypt, so on and so forth. So... I'm abbreviating here greatly just to give you the quick background of exactly what went down. So when he goes back and demands Pharaoh uh, releases the Israelites, of course Pharaoh says no, and this is what triggers the ten plagues. And every time there's a plague, Moses goes back, asks for the Hebrews to be set free, and Pharaoh says no. And I won't go through all of them, but we're talking about uh, blood, all the water turning into blood, uh, boils, locusts, really nasty stuff. The 10th day, or the 10th plague, I should say, which uh, is definitely the worst, is the death of every firstborn. And that's not just for the children, but also the firstborn of the animals. So... All of the Egyptian firstborn, anything, were going to die. And this is where Passover actually comes from. The Israelites were told to spread the blood of a lamb over their door frames to their houses. And that when the angel of death came to take away the firstborn of all the families, that he would pass over their houses. So the Israelites were spared. The Egyptians were not. So that's literally where the holiday comes from but a big part of what the holiday is actually about is the jewish people celebrating the the fact that they were set free and that we are a free people it's a big part of the the, the holiday itself is somewhat of a feast but it's also uh, ripe with tradition before we get to eat there's a lot of reading and ceremonial type stuff that goes down uh, including reading the story of Passover, which I do every year to my kids. And, and we remind them that the reason that we're celebrating Passover is that we are a free people. Now, of course, my children uh, are not of a Jewish bloodline. I'm the only one in the family that is. But it's 
really important to me and it's a lot of fun to have my family participate with that and typically every year i invite one non-jewish friend over to uh, participate with us in the passover ceremony and that way they can learn about it and get to experience a little bit of jewish culture and i've done this every year that i could um, a couple of years I wasn't able to because of the army, but every year that I've been able to do it, as long as I've been an adult, this is what I've done. So this year I decided it would be fun to incorporate everybody into it and just kind of talk about it on, uh, Minecraft adventures, just to let everybody know what this great holiday is about and what it means to me. So, cause it is a really important holiday to me and I take it very serious. So, uh, so that is in a nutshell the story of passover i hope you've enjoyed this special minecraft adventures i'm going to go ahead and put two links here in the description to link to other jewish related uh, holiday videos that i've made i've made two hanukkah videos in the past one from a very very long time ago um very early in the minecraft adventure series and then another one that i actually made with raptor's help and that was a lot of fun so i'm going to link both of those for you so if you if you found this interesting maybe you would find the other two minecraft related videos that i did for a different jewish holiday so thanks for watching everybody i appreciate the support as always and i will see you next time